Well, you know, he's such a great player that, you know, you got, you have to be aggressive because he's going to be aggressive. And uh, I thought that, I thought, you know, Jimmy was, uh, did a great job also, but our whole team, they were locked into it. Uh, and he puts that type of pressure on you, as does Middleton. So, um, yeah, the, the, I thought all, all around it was very good. You know, I thought the biggest thing was probably getting our legs under us a little bit. So it's good to get back here. We, you know, and it keeps coming. We're going to have another tough test with New Orleans coming up. Uh, so we have to keep grinding away. What is it about Wiggins' court awareness on defense in about the last three or four weeks? Like yeah, and you're making a great point. I thought that, uh, you know, he didn't score the ball well tonight, but I thought he played a terrific game. I thought I think he had six rebounds. He, he got some steals. He was active. He had energy. Um, you know, so to play well when you know, maybe you're not shooting it as well as you can is important, but I thought he did a lot of things to help us win. Uh, and he gave Jimmy uh, some an opportunity to move off of Giannis at times, and I thought he did a good job. You know, with Giannis, you you you, try, you have to make him work, and he's got to see people. And so, but uh, overall, I thought uh, Wig is really he's really coming on, and then I thought Carl was terrific as well. Well, I, I think the biggest thing you know, we knew we were going to be tested, you know, during this stretch, and it's you know our mental toughness, physical toughness, emotional toughness. You know, when you go through a stretch of games like we just did, you know, you have to have a resolve about you. And the only way you can get that is by putting everything you have into each day. And when you put the work into it, good things will happen if we're doing the right things. Uh, so coming back, it, it's good. We, You know, we still, as I said, it's, it feels like it's still really a continuation of, you know, the road trip because it's it's been quick turnarounds you know, one game home stands and back out and stuff like that. But I think our, our group is doing a much better job of concentrating in meetings and film sessions and things like that, which is what you have to do during a stretch like this because you're not going to be able to, you know, get onto the floor as much as you would like. Yeah, and it's and they their length is, you know, one of their uh, strengths in their athleticism, and then because of that versatility, they're switching. If you you have to keep the ball moving, you know, if you hold down to it, then you get in trouble. And I thought that, um, but they have great versatility. They have great length, uh, which allows them to do a lot of switching. But uh, they they're very good defensively. Well, a lot. Oftentimes, what you're trying to do is you're trying to match up with, you know, when their guys are going in and out as well. So, uh, and I think that's important. It's a big part of, I think, winning in this league. And so, and obviously, uh, when the, when your bench plays well, you can play more. And so, I thought it, I thought it was a, a really solid win because I thought the starters played extremely well, and I thought the bench played extremely well. Well, I'd rather not have any two-game losing streaks, but <laughs> so I guess uh, it's, you know, and, and I think it's important. Uh, you know, you got to keep you know scratching out wins. And it's important not to have any long losing streaks, and whatever your circumstances are, to have the toughness to overcome uh, whatever adversity you appear to be facing at that particular time. So, whether it's you know, guys could be in foul trouble, guys could be out. Uh, you could have uh, an extended road trip, you could have a tough stretch, you have to get past things and that's you have to do it as a group and I think that's important. Is your dip on defense the last two weeks or so, has that been more mental or physical? Well I think it's a combination of you know a lot of things it's, uh, and it's one of the things when you have a, a stretch where you can work on things, you can correct things by you know and really that's the best way to correct them is you 
you know, you could wa- you watch the film and, and everyone sees where the problems are, and then you get onto the court and you work on them to fix them. And obviously, you can't work on everything every day. And that, right now, what we were faced with was doing it in a uh, ballroom of a hotel or you know in our uh, film room and things like that. But I think you build those habits over the course of the season because you, uh, when the schedule comes out, you know exactly what what's going what you're facing. So I think building the habit of okay, it's a back to back. We're on the road. We're going to meet at this time. We're going to have a walk through in the ballroom. We're going to have a film session, and then when the ball goes up, we got to be ready to go and we got to find a way to win. And so. Um, and you know, I thought the Toronto game was a good test for us, and we learned from it. It, you know, it was our fifth game in seven days, back to back, and you know, I thought we were a play away from winning that game. And so that's you know, we're, we're still not where we want to be. And we, there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, you know, we got to concentrate on our improvement. Well, he's you know, I think you. His record speaks for itself. He's maybe the greatest coach of all time. You know, I've seen, I've watched him up close. I've seen him in meetings. I've seen him on the field. I've, I've watched their teams a long time. And, you know, I'm thrilled for him because I know how much he puts into it. But just as important to me as I'm a, a New Englander. So that's my team. And you know, I watch every game. I love watching him play. I don't take any of that for granted. I know how special he is, and that you know, and that team is. And so I, I hope he never leaves. I hope he coaches 25 more years. But he's he's an amazing guy, amazing coach. Yeah, no. Hey, hey I'm, my TV's on. I'll be watching. And I'll be rooting like crazy. You know, we got stuff we got to do too. So, but uh, you know, it's. I, it's amazing what he's done. You know, I grew up as a kid thinking that the Patriots never win the Super Bowl. You know, we could get there, but we don't win. And now my nephews, uh, the, their view of it is entirely different. They think the the Patriots should win it every year, and I, it's a good way to grow up. So, but I, I know how special that is, and no one from that area should take any anything for granted. Appreciate every moment. Yeah, you know, we want like we want to build the right habits. We want to build winning habits. What goes into winning and understanding that, and you know, the, it's great for the city to have the Super Bowl here. We're excited about that. Everyone is, and to have a lot of those people come in to watch the team play, we appreciate that. Uh, but it's important for us to understand what goes into winning, and not for us to not get sidetracked, and so uh, be disciplined. And uh, you know, and of course, everyone root for the Patriots. Thank <laughs> you.